Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, we will discuss the interval estimate of population mean with known variance. So, to approximate the population parameter, gagamit tayo guys ng range of values. Okay? So, this range of values contains the population mean. Okay? Or dito natin makikita yung ating population mean. So, ang tawag sa range na to guys is the confidence interval. Okay? So, to estimate the population mean, kailangan natin guys yung ating mean of a random sample, yung z-value, yung ating population standard deviation, and of course, the sample size. Okay? Then, in approximating the population mean by determining a range of values within which it is most likely to be located, confidence level are used. Okay? So, the confidence level, 90%, 95%, and 99% are usually chosen. Then, yung corresponding z-value nila or critical value, pagka ang confidence level natin is 99%, yung kanyang corresponding z-value is 2.575. Kung 95% naman ang ating confidence level, ang z-value natin is 1.96. Then, for 90%, we have a z-value of 1.645. Okay? Then, the confidence interval can be written as mean minus E, where E is the margin of error. Okay? Then, the margin of error is equal to the z-value times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So, ito rin guys yung formula na nasa taas kanina. Ito yan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung ating margin of error. So, dito guys, yung x or the mean minus e, ang tawag natin dyan is the lower confidence limit. Then, yung mean plus the margin of error, that is our upper confidence limit. Nakuha? So, let's have example number 1. The mean score of a random sample of 49 grade 11 students who took the first periodical test is calculated to be 78. The population variance is known to be 0 0.16. Find the 95% confidence interval for the mean of the entire grade 11 students. So, para makuha natin guys yung confidence interval, first, identify muna natin yung mga, yung mga given natin. Okay? So, una, we have a sample of 49 grade 11 students. So, that will be our N. Next is the mean score is calculated to be 78. That will be our X bar. Then, the population variance is known to be 0 0.16. Then, find the 95% confidence interval. So, that means na yung 95%, that is our confidence level. Tama? Okay, so since na yung ating confidence level is 95%, so therefore yung ating uh, corresponding z-value or critical value is equals to 1.96. Okay? So, based dun sa ating table. 1.96. So, after nyo guys makuha yung ating uh, critical value, next is kunin naman natin yung ating standard deviation. So, since given naman yung ating uh, population variance, so to get the standard deviation that is equals to the square root of variance, which is equals to 0 0.16, so yung ating standard deviation is equals to 0 0.4. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin compute yung ating margin of error. So, the margin of error is equals to z-value times the standard deviation over square root of n. Okay? 
So, ang ating Z value is equals to 1.96 times the standard deviation which is 0 0.4 divided by square root of N. So, that is square root of 49. Okay, then pag sinolve natin to guys using our calculator. So, the margin of error is equal to 0 0.112. Okay? So, kung meron na tayong margin of error, then at the same time, given naman yung ating mean, so pwede na natin makuha yung ating confidence interval. Okay? So, based dun sa diniscuss natin kanina, the confidence interval is equals to the mean minus the um, margin of error. Ito yung ating lower limit. Then, yung ating upper limit is mean plus the margin of error. Okay? So, substitute natin yung ating mean which is equals to 78 minus the margin of error which is 0 0.112. Then, yung ating upper limit, we have mean 78 plus the margin of error of 0 0.112. Okay? So, pag sinimplify natin to guys, so, yung ating population mean is between 77.888 and we have 78 plus 0 0.112 so that is 78.112. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating confidence interval where 77.888 is our lower confidence limit. Then, yung 78.112 is our upper confidence limit. Naintindihan ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. So, assuming normality, use the given confidence level and sample data below to find the following. First, we are asked to find the margin of error. Then second, we are asked to find the confidence interval for estimating the population parameter. So, ang given natin dito, we have 99% confidence level. Then, our sample size is equals to 50. Our sample mean is 18,000 and our um, population standard deviation is equals to 2,500. So, ang unang gagawin dito guys, uh, since ang given confidence level natin is 99%, so pwede na nating makuha yung ating critical value. Okay? So, based dun sa ating table, pag meron tayong 99% uh, level of confidence, ang ating critical value is 2.575. Nakuha? So, ito ngayon, yung ating gagamitin, to solve for the margin of error. Okay? So, alam naman natin na ang margin of error is equals to the Z value times the standard deviation divided by square root of N. Okay? So, substitute natin yung mga given. So, ang Z value natin, we have 2.575 times standard deviation which is 2,500 divided by square root of N which is 50. Okay? So, pag sinolve nyo to guys using your calculator, our margin of error is equals to 910.40. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating sagot doon sa letter A. Next, for B, confidence interval for estimating the population parameter. So again, our formula to, to find the confidence interval okay, is mean is between the sample mean minus the margin of error and the mean plus the margin of error. So since given naman yung ating mean, so, that is 18,000 minus the margin of error which is 910.40. Then, we have 18,000 
plus the margin of error 910.40. So therefore, our population parameter is between, we have 17,089.60 and 18,910.40. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating confidence interval. Kung saan, yung ating uh, lower confidence limit is 17,089.60 and yung ating upper confidence limit is 18,910.40. So, this is the end of our video. I hope... Uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba isolve yung ating confidence interval and yung kanyang margin of error. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!